Good day everyone and welcome to this week's reaction review. I'm Gripper Sim and this week we're going to look at the Robin single engine piston sports monoplane aircraft. And remember, if you're new to flight simulation or thinking of getting back into flight sim, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for new content every week. This aircraft is free from Aerobasque. For some reason, they decided to give it free for the uh, community. Well, it's a good marketing boy, I have to admit. This aircraft has a tricycle undercarriage and can carry four people powered by the new diesel Centurion engine. And if you don't know what that is, that's just a very, very efficient engine. You burn a lot less fuel and a lot less maintenance in reality. The DR401 version of this aircraft features a glass cockpit. Yes, you've guessed it, Gunman 1000. A larger cockpit, electric trim and flaps. This simulated model has integrated laminar German G1000, a functional 3D cockpit, which is free already, 3D model with high resolution PBR textures, 4K in other words. It has quality sounds. You will see when we go and look at the cockpit, you'll hear the gyro spinning. The engine sounds are very good. It has a simulated FedEx test and preheating, windshield reflections, and it's optimized to save frames per second. And I have to say, it does look quite good at first glance. Of course the cones and the chocks disappear when you start the engine but it does look very nice it does have many very many liveries which i'll show you now shortly and it is up to pay wear quality for sure for something that's free it's free you know um you can't really argue and it's really really good quality i think of all the liveries uh, that this does come with this is certainly my favorite it's certainly the most colorful one in any case Okay, let's have a look inside the cockpit now. I'm going to remain silent a little bit so you can hear the sounds. Ah yes, full of German 1000 goodness. Okay, in this clip I'm just speeding things up a little bit and what I'm actually doing here is I'm just checking to see if all the bits and pieces are working as they should. Now the big question is, will I do a tutorial on the German 1000? The answer is yes, I will, absolutely, I will get to it. The only reason I've procrastinated until now is I have to find I do notice in flight simulators that some G1000s are slightly different than others so I'm going to have to I reckon choose one aircraft to do the tutorials on and I think I do one little bit at a time one little bit so I think a series of videos perhaps would be the best thing but it's in the post. Let's get this puppy started now I'm going to open the canopy listen. Pretty cool let's close it again. It's just, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I had to do it again. I think that's a really cool feature. Now, fuel is on. And we're going to put on the battery master and the avionics. And all you do then is turn the key. Now, I know there's more to it than that in the real thing. I like the way the proc kind of stops if you don't do it properly. There's the canopy. And brilliant. Let's have a look at the liveries next. And while we're looking at those, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Waterford. Now, apparently, there's a new air traffic controller from Kerry in Waterford. And um, he's actually retired since the 70s. He was an air traffic controller slash pilot back in the 60s, 50s, 60s. Now, apparently, when he retired, he went to the pub and he hadn't left since. So, apparently, I've been warned. So, we'll see how we get on. Um, you can be the judge of that. Right, let's go. Okay, let's go to Waterford. Now, uh, I'm going to fast forward from time to time and allow about some music and sort of a montage.
are Delta Juliet Lima Oscar Whiskey approaching zone boundary inbound request. We're Delta Juliet Lima Oscar Whiskey approaching zone boundary inbound request. Just change flight plan to VF4, please. Good night, media. We'll report one main site, Delta Oscar Whiskey. Water for tower Delta Oscar Whiskey now, 1500 feet 1019, just to the north of the airfield, runway inside. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I'm driving there, the good man. Copy that, thank you. Q&H now, 1018, thank you for the correction. We'll call final runway 21 Delta Oscar Whiskey. I'm at the end of the season, 71 gone. A firm, a busy world with the departing traffic, Delta Oscar Whiskey. Clear land runway 21 Delta Oscar Whiskey. Good. Okay, so here we are on final approach and I'm a little bit too high. And as you can see, the nose of the aircraft is pointing to the right side of the center line because I'm crabbing. There is a wind coming from the right side. So I'm just gonna bring it down and hold it off. I'm gonna hold it off a little bit longer on purpose. I just feel the rudder is a little bit twitchy and I just want to slow down a little bit, seeing as I have such a long runway. There, hold it off there now. Uh, just a little bit of right, oh, okay. Not a good landing. I don't, there's the rudders now, yeah, they're very twitchy. Ooh. Very twitchy. Uh, not a good landing. That is landing speed plug-in. Um, it's not particularly accurate. It just measures your feet per second. Now let's go to the tower and investigate this chap. Go ahead. Hello, hi. How are you? I just landed in Robin. I just thought I'd pop up and say hello. How is this? I'm Ian. My name is Jefferson. I'm Jerry here. I'm enjoying it. Right? Nice to meet you, Billy Joe. Shame it's McDermott. Nice, nice, nice. Jack, yes, oh, oh, no, no drinking for me. Thank Jack, you. Uh, why is there a passenger with the trousers back up? Why is there farm animals in the tower?